Hello. Uh, welcome to Anne Nature. This is, uh, this is nature. I am out in nature. I promise that this is a real sound of real water. Here, I'll prove it. I'll prove it. <clears throat> hear that? That's real water. So I figured, you know, I just, uh, you know, talk about things out in the open instead of sitting at my desk all of the time because that's kind of depressing and not really that fun. Uh, so I asked my Discord for some ideas on what to talk about today, and uh, <laughs> did Saddam Hussein really have weapons of mass destruction? Happen. Well, you see, there was this Jewish guy a long time ago. His name was Jesus, and he claimed to be the Messiah, and then the Jews killed him. Huh? Meth is great if you want to lose weight. <laughs> okay, no, let's actually, let's actually do a serious video here. Also, I, I don't know how this recording is going to turn out. I'm not sure if that water is going to be too loud, but if it is, tough. You're getting what you get. So let's talk about some life things really quick. So <clears throat> what are some of my main goals? Right now, my main goal is I'm going to be moving into a house, and I'm really, really excited about it. My grandparents are basically giving me their house. I mean, I'm still going to be paying rent and utilities and everything while I'm there, but basically I get to rent the entire house out and they don't have to pay any costs for their in-town house, which is really, really great. But it's one of the reasons why I haven't been streaming as much as I do normally when I'm, you know, frequently uploading all the time. Uploading, streaming. Streaming is not an upload. I don't even upload VODs. I don't understand why I said that. So yeah, my main goal is once I get all moved in and everything and get to enjoy myself, it's going to be really, really nice. And I'm going to start streaming more often. Also, I do intend to do more content like this, where I walk around in the middle of nowhere and make a fool out of myself in front of, oh my God, there's some hikers. But yeah, that's one of my main goals. Uh, my second goal that I have as soon as I move into my grandparents' house is I am going to be joining a gym. And I'm going to be trying really hard to lose all this because uh, <clears throat> I don't like being overweight. Well, no, I don't, I don't like being as overweight as I am. Uh, my goal, right now I weigh 230 pounds. I want to weigh like 200. I want to lose like 30 pounds, get strong, get swole, enjoy my life. It'll be awesome. Another goal that I have is honestly just doing more content in general. Like making a video about me literally just mowing the lawn or taking care of things around the house. I think that that's going to be kind of cool. Uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, his name's Rob. Well, his name's Rob. His channel is Aging Wheels. And I love his style of content because he just goes out, talks about what he's doing with his cars. And, you know, basically when he's just doing a project around the house, he records it. That's kind of what I'm going to do. And that's kind of where I want my content to go from now on. It's just kind of that kind of stuff, you know? Also some commentary, you know? Maybe talking about the Charlie and Sneeko situation that's already been talked about to death. Man, it's got to suck to be a cuck. Another just kind of lifestyle goal of mine is I probably want to lessen up on the amount that I drink. You know, I love alcohol. I will always love alcohol. There is nothing more fun than it's Friday night and you get to have some beers and either game with the boys or go out and hoon around on the town. There is nothing more fun than that. There is nothing more awesome than that. <clears throat> Except sobriety. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, lessen on my drinking a little bit because eh, I don't know. I wouldn't say that it's gotten excessive, but you know, cause I've been kind of cutting back with the responsibilities that I have now, but I don't know. I think it's kind of just a good idea, good lifestyle choice to make. All right. But I didn't want this whole video to just be, you know, updates and goals because I mean, really my list of things that I'm trying to do in my life is pretty streamlined and pretty small. Update as far as like just some kind of content things. I know I already kind of talked about it, but I'm gonna reiterate, all right? A lot of big things coming where I'm gonna be working on cars, working on upgrading things. I'm gonna finally get my 900S in like perfect condition. Very, very, very excited. Gonna be like redoing some of the clear coat and getting it all nice and bright and shiny. Gonna be buying a bunch of new parts for it in order to make it the best that it can possibly be. Um, also, obviously gonna be working on my 9.5. I love my car. It's kind of fun to make content updates on it. Another thing, we are going to be finishing the playthrough of Undertale on my Twitch channel. I, I almost got Twitch maxed up. Maxed up? Mixed up. I am. Wow. Finally going to finish my Undertale playthrough on my Twitch channel. Very, very excited about that. It's going to be fun. We're going to go all three routes. So yeah, just sign a, kind of some content updates. Right now, though, my main focus is moving. That is my main focus. My parents just sold their house, so they're going to be moving. And I'm going to be moving into my grandparents' house as well, as I already talked about. But that's kind of my main thing that I'm working on right now. So... Yeah, bear with me if, you know, content is a little slow with being forthcoming. And finally, once I'm in a house where I won't have to worry about roommates, I won't have to worry about upsetting them, I can actually properly, you know, just kind of have my own space. Not only will it be amazing for my mental health, 
but it will also just, it'll help me streamline my content creation. I'll be able to actually go through and really truly become a YouTuber. I mean, man, my, my uploads are so infrequent. I love my own content. I'm not going to lie. I know that sounds weird, but I like making content. It's really, really fun. The problem that I've had is just massive amounts of mental blocks and just, I don't know. I just haven't gone out and done it. You know what I mean? I hate to use mental health as an excuse because it's not. I just need to go out. And I just need to do it. You know what I mean? I need to do the things that I should do. Okay. That's all the update things. What I am going to do is I'm going to tell you guys a story. Okay. It's story time. All right. Back when I was in high school, I went to Mead High School, my, well, beginning of sophomore year into junior year. Well, no, wait a minute. Yeah, I was homeschooled throughout my freshman year of high school. And then my sophomore year, I transferred over to Mead High School, where I went for my sophomore year. And then uh, for my junior and senior year, I actually went to Coeur d'Alene High School. But in that year that I had at Mead High School, I actually, actually made quite a few friends. And uh, they introduced me to this wonderful, wonderful thing called married iguanas. No, I think it's, I think it's marijuana, actually. And this is where we used to smoke it. Wait, hang on a second, I gotta do this. This is the spot where when I was in high school, I used to smoke married iguanas, uh, marijuana. I can't do Doug, but yeah, this is the place. It's, uh, it's kind of, it's weirdly got a lot of nostalgia for me because like this was when I was truly starting to get into my rebellious phase. Now, this is not a story about the smoking of marijuana. It's a story of coming of age and kind of growing up when you've mostly lived in a very, well, I wouldn't say sheltered, I would say homeschooled environment. Let's, let's go with that. Now, when I was younger, throughout all of my schooling years, I, I still went to normal school two days out of the week. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I would be actually at a homeschool group with a bunch of other kids that were also homeschooled. A lot of which were in my grade. I mean, it was small classes, maybe, you know, 10 to 12 people my age, but it allowed me as a homeschooled kid to get kind of socialized a little bit, which was a really, really good thing. And the rest of the days of the week, I was at home with my mom and she was, she was my teacher. And a lot of people speak up against homeschooling because they say that it's weird and it makes kids turn out funny. I, I don't think so at all. I think I turned out all right, but I think that the key is not to homeschool them all the way through their years. And the reason why it turned out relatively normal is because I was allowed my first taste of freedom when I was a sophomore in high school. So my mom, I was, I was at the homeschooling program on a Tuesday. Might've been a Thursday, I don't remember, but I was at the homeschooling program up on Five Mile and uh, my mom comes running in, you know, to, the, to one of my classes and I just, I start panicking because, you know, when mom shows up to school, uh, you're screwed. <laughs> and I was like, what did I do? What did I do? Oh no, what did I do? Uh, but in reality, she was like, hey, pack your stuff up. Um, we just enrolled you in Mead High School. You're going to real school now. And I was so excited. I was so excited because now I got to go to regular school with regular high schoolers and I got to have that freedom that doesn't exist when you're at home. You know, you get to interact with other people, you know, during lunchtime, you can just kind of hoon around and do whatever you want. Um, and also it, it allowed me the freedom to really, you know, start to make some real friendships with some people, you know, actually, as a matter of fact, fun fact, this is kind of funny. Uh, my friend, Dan, who I'm sure that some of you guys have seen on the channel, uh, on Twitch and stuff like that, Jan Dan King, uh, still one of my very good friends to this day, met him my sophomore year in high school. How time flies. Any who's it. Going back to the story, and this is not really necessarily a story, this is more of just me kind of talking about my life and how I developed a little bit, I guess is the best way to put it. <clears throat> but because of that small amount of freedom that I was allowed to have, like in interacting with other people, it helped me go from kind of being an awkward, <sighs> frankly, not very socialized homeschool kid. And I know I just said earlier that I was allowed to go to school. Well, not allowed, that I went to school, you know, two days a week and interacted with other kids. But it kind of allowed me to really, truly interact with other people, you know, in a completely free context. Because the thing is, is when the teacher to student ratio is really, really tight, like it is at a homeschool program, I mean, I think the teacher to student ratio is probably like one to 10, to now being a sea of students with very few teachers around, you kind of can get away with a lot more. Hence, why I would run down here. I was, I was in, <laughs> when I was in high school, I was in cross country. And whenever we would do free runs, I would meet up with a couple of my friends down here and we would smoke a doobie. <laughs> Mom, if you're watching this, that's a joke. <laughs> 
But yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry if this just kind of comes out as incoherent rambling, but I kind of just wanted to tell a little bit of a story and kind of talk about my perspective of uh, when I first got socialized in high school and first was allowed to kind of hang out with everybody. And one thing that I will say, you know, <clears throat> whenever I say that I'm homeschooled or whenever I tell people uh, that I have Asperger's, a lot of people are like, but you're normal though. That's weird. One of the reasons why, and one of the things that I don't give my parents enough credit for is as much as I feel like I didn't have as much freedom as I would have wanted in high school and, you know, throughout my early adulthood, I had a lot more freedom than I really realize now because if I would have had that unlimited freedom, I would have abused it. And I think that I would have ended up in a different trajectory in life. So I don't know, I guess uh, in a weird way, this is a story of uh, thanks mom and dad for actually caring enough to, you know, rein me in a little bit. But I tell you what, when I finally did move out of my parents' house, man, I mean, we're talking, it was hooked, it was blood, it was partying every weekend. It was, that's a story for another time. But anyway, I, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This is kind of a weird format. Um, I've experimented so much with the type of content that I want to do. Like, if you just go through my channel, you'll see that it's just a modge podge of a bunch of different crap. But I think that this is finally my niche. And actually, thanks to this little microphone right here and using my phone to record, I'm able to now record videos anywhere and record whatever I want. So I find that really exciting. I'm excited to make more videos. I'm excited to make more content for you guys. And I'm excited to talk about more things. So unlike what other commentary YouTubers, I don't even know if I want to call myself a commentary YouTuber, but I don't want to spend time catching up on YouTube beef all the time in order to commentate on it. So instead, here's how I would like to make my content. <clears throat> and this may sound like I'm being lazy, but I think it's actually a better way for me to uh, come up with things to do. Drop a comment down below what you would like me to talk about next, or maybe like a, a different story that you'd like to hear about my life. Uh, I would love that, because it allows me to have a more solid idea and a better foundation of where to go with a video, and it allows you to have some sort of input on what I talk about. So uh, I'm going to try doing at least monthly uploads. I know that's an ambitious goal to make. Uh, also depends on my editor. He's going to have to go through and edit things. And I know that's a lot of work for him. So, you know, I don't want to don't want to go too hard on that one. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys had a good time listening to me chat. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and slap a like on it. And if you didn't like the video, your opinion's invalid. And you can go f yourself. Have a good night, everybody. Oh dear, it would appear that I have to cross this raging river. Uh, okay, let's see. Ooh, that does not feel very stable. All right, it is. Okay, we're good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. No wet shoes club, baby. No wet shoes club. Oh yeah. Zero deaths. Let's go, baby. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to come across on camera. Uh, uh, this is steep. Uh, I need to get in better shape. Whew. That's like the most polite graffiti ever. Uh, yu yo pome ame. Oh, yeah. Stupid Hawaiian tourists always writing their state abbreviation everywhere it's like yeah we get it you're from hawaii